Hi and uh, welcome back to my series of videos on uh, pottery and pottery illustration. Today I'm going to be looking at Samian Ware, this lovely red stuff here. Um, Samian Ware is really important because it's gone through quite a few changes over recent years of how uh, Samian Ware itself can be illustrated. Now Samian Ware is really important for identifying sites. It was kind of in production between the first and third centuries AD uh, and is kind of one of the most uh, or earliest commonly mass manufactured pots. Um, they're very useful for dating sites um, along with pot stamps that you get. There's also lots of decoration motifs which kind of occur on vessels. I don't know if you can see kind of here. I'm kind of just showing you some of the kind of basic motifs. Um, this can help us build up um, a very tight time scale on when the pots were kind of mass produced or when they were used. And obviously uh, the motifs themselves may differ for potters so the pot was potters would use their own individual styles of motif so you can start to kind of build up a kind of comparable pattern of um, pottery workshops and, and kind of comparisons with other sites so it's really useful for tightly dating uh, archaeological sites. Now they come in two main types really you have the kind of plain vessels kind of something like this kind of a, a, a dish or a bowl and then you kind of have the, the, the decorated the kind of highly kind of decorated pattern. I don't know if you can hold that closer can you, can you see that on there? Now, these are really important for kind of helping us build up an understanding of um, the, the kind of types of vessels used and what's used. Now, previously or in the past, what I'll show kind of on, on the video in a second, I'll show you some stills is kind of the information provided by illustrators, uh, which was recorded on the pots. Now, that was always very useful. But again, what you always get with an illustrator is kind of maybe not bias as such, but their kind of interpretation of what is actually there. So what you might have in some of the kind of detailed markings on, on some of the kind of patting, which is kind of kind of called a volo beading there. It's like an egg and tongue pattern. I don't know if you can see that. Am I holding up close enough? So you can see the kind of like little egg shape inside this detail and the, the tongue hanging off to one side. It's a very kind of common occurrence on pattern Samian wear. But obviously, depending on how the illustrator um, translates that to the to the kind of the drawing itself um, has a huge impact on uh, the pottery specialists and how they will be able to identify this. So what's what's occurred or what's evolved is actually um, specialists or illustrators like myself will take uh, detailed rubbings of the, the decoration. And, and this video is going to kind of show you how to take a rubbing from the decoration on a, on a Samian vessel. Obviously the plain wares are just drawn like standardised pots Obviously, if they have stamps, stamps need to be shown in there. Um, again, the decorated vessels themselves, like we have here, will be drawn as a standardised pot, kind of like I've shown on previous videos. But the decoration, the um, the, the moulding of the, the kind of stamp, the detail will be kind of put as a separate file, uh, which is done as a rubbing. So I'm going to show us how to kind of do that today. But first, I'm going to try and show you on screen some kind of information of um, what a bad drawing can look like and kind of how rubbish can kind of better that and I'm all for kind of improving standards. Okay, cheers. Okay, so I'm going to talk through this kind of problem that we have of um, decorated Samian way being kind of slightly problematic. It mainly comes from the three-dimensional nature uh, of the bowls, it means that any kind of translation between two-dimensional representations has to inevitably cause some distortion when it's laid out flat. Uh, that's not really the critical, critical issue though. The core problem lies in the need for absolute accuracy in both the detail of the compositions and components within Samian Ware. And here, uh, the obvious is that the intervention of the illustrator, however good, imposes kind of certain subjective criteria, even if those of the individual style of the illustrator and technique. The best illustrations can only really allow specialists to recognise the vessel for under consideration. Now, plain vessels, as I said, show profile and section when necessary and standard line drawings similar to those employed for kind of other ceramic vessel vessels fall into consideration. But this is where we kind of look at the Samian stamps. So the choice is really between rubbings in photography or line drawings. Now, one of the biggest difficulties with stamps is to get the scale exactly correct because identical spellings of names on stamps which are produced from kind of cast dyes can be uh, distinguished only by their size. So a well-lit photograph probably avoids most of the technical issues that you're going to have with kind of scaling. And getting a complete rubbing for impressions of deep vessels can be kind of slightly problematic. While drawings, obviously, again, as I've mentioned, can be affected by the subjective um, vagaries that an illustrator can provide. 
So for this reason, rubbings remain preferred methodology uh, with photography as a second best. Now, decorated vessels uh, suggest kind of come into two categories, as I said before, kind of the plain vessels and the kind of more detailed uh, vessels themselves. Uh, if you kind of remove artistic interpretation, uh, this is going to kind of help with accuracy. Okay, so what I'm going to try and show you now is how you kind of take some decoration. I'm not going to do the whole piece. I'm just going to do the kind of little egg and tongue beading at the top and kind of how we take a, a rubbing uh, of this. Now, you can get tracing paper to use. I like to use kind of larger sheets of um, kind of very fine, um, like cigarette papers really. You can get kind of cigarette papers which are, which are good. Also you've got the problem of having to stick them together whereas the larger sheets you can kind of take a, take a larger area straight away and kind of make it fit. Now, what I try and do is very carefully attach the paper to the vessel. Now this one's quite easy because it's got edges on there. And because I have quite warm hands, I like to kind of place my hands on the vessel just to get it to kind of hold to sit for a few seconds so it starts to take shape. Now, the trick with kind of doing a rubbing, you can use graphite. Try not to use graphite powder too much, kind of has a health hazard, airborne particles, so it's, it's not great, is to use kind of graphite stick. Now, what I'm doing is I'm making a, a rubbing on a piece of paper uh, of just a small area of graphite, and then I'm very carefully sticking it on my finger. I don't know if you can see that. Now, what we're gonna try and do is take this vessel uh, and then kind of rub it. Now, the idea to take a very accurate rubbing is to keep rubbing in the same direction, okay? If you kind of rub backwards and forwards, you do have movement within the kind of the, the, the tracing paper itself. Whereas if you keep the same finger and the same direction, you can start to pick out the detail. Now, take your time. You don't want to rip the paper, but what you want to try and do is to pick up as much detail as you can. Now, if you need to stop, take a break, go back, have a look, Take two or three rubbings, sometimes they differ. Now, I don't know if you can see that there, it's kind of picked up the detail quite nicely. Now, if I unpick this from the actual vessel itself very carefully, you should be able to see, as a kind of, kind of comparison, because I'll hold them next to each other, how this works. So there we have the, the, the beading at the top of the vessel itself, it's quite nice and clear in, in, in the video there. I think we can kind of can see they're very, very close up, very quickly. You can see the detail there. Now we can take this, this will then be scanned in and, and used alongside the kind of line drawing, taking of the profile itself for the vessel. And kind of that's how we do that. But I will stop this now, this video now, and I'll kind of show you some comparisons on screen. So as I said previously, um, a good quality rubbing scanned in will provide a much more accurate representation than a less than perfect drawing. Now it's not to say that Samian should never be drawn again. Still uh, France is a country that prefers drawings uh, and in the cases where the surface is badly degraded a good rubbing may not be possible whereas a drawing may pick out the emphasis this idea that you kind of have an archaeological lens or a filter what the illustrator would look for. Therefore uh, Illustration is, is always preferred in that case.